Yo, what's going on people? My name is Ulogic and welcome back to yet another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the differences between clay pots and plastic pots and talking about which is best for your plant. So a quick disclaimer for this video, I'm going to go ahead and just give you guys the answer right now. There is no such thing as a better pot. Now both of these pots do have different qualities and it's up to you to decide based on your plant and based on you and your individual needs which pot is best for you. And before I continue, when you're deciding between a plastic pot or a clay pot, you always want to ensure that either of them, whether it's plastic or clay, has drainage holes in the bottom. So for that reason, we're gonna be stacking the features of the plastic pot, the features of the clay pot, and I'm gonna pose a question to you, which pot is best for you? Without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so first we're gonna be talking about the clay pot. In my opinion, probably the most common pot in the entire houseplant hobby. And the most important feature you need to know that separates the clay pot from the plastic pot is the fact that the clay pot is going to allow for more transportation of air and water in and out of the pot. Now the reason behind that is that the material within the clay pot is less dense and that allows for more transportation of certain substances and materials through processes such as evaporation so say if it's a little bit warm you're gonna have water easing out of the pot either as a gaseous form or you may even have air flowing out of the pot. Now that's the main reason why in the summer you may find that soil within a clay pot tends to dry out quicker and then in the winter if you leave the clay pot near a window that has a draft or kind of like a cold breeze coming in uh, you may notice that the soil may be super cold and unhealthy for the plant. That's because there's a lot of transportation of gases in and out of the pot so that's definitely something to consider. And then in my opinion the other feature that separates the clay pot from the plastic pot is that if the clay pot drops it's over. Unfortunately, when a clay pot drops from a certain height, you're more than likely going to find the clay pot shattered, and as a result, you more than likely need to replace the pot if it were to fall from a certain height. So that's definitely something to consider about the clay pot. But with that being said, let's move on to the plastic pot. Now the plastic pot is actually quite the opposite case when compared to the clay pot. Where the clay pot is a little bit harder and easier to shatter, the plastic pot on the other hand is much more flexible and if you drop it, you don't have to worry about it breaking. And with that being said, one of the other contrasting features of the plastic pot compared to the clay pot is that where the clay pot is going to have a lot more transportation as a result of the lower density of the pot, the plastic pot on the other hand is much more dense and as a result, it's going to end up retaining a lot more moisture than the clay pot will. So that means that there won't be as much transportation of gases such as air and moisture in and out of the pot. And that's a perfect moment to segue into the next part of the video talking about, all right, you know the features of both of them. Which should I get? Now, like I said earlier, both of these pots are good in their own rights. None of them are necessarily superior to the other, but with that being said, your uses for them are going to vary based on your plant's needs and your individual needs. Let's go ahead and talk about what type of a plant would like to be in a clay pot instead of a plastic pot. Now, one of the things to remember is that there's a lot of transportation of gases, so water is not gonna sit in the clay pot as long as it will in a plastic pot. So you may be wondering what type of plants may like that. It's generally going to be the plants that like to dry out a little bit between watering. The plants that come to my mind are succulents. Succulents hate, hate, hate to be sitting in water for too long. Obviously, succulents are not the only plants that would like a clay pot, but with that being said, those are the first ones that come to my mind and other plants similar to them. Any plant that just doesn't like to sit in soil for too long, a clay pot is definitely the way to go. You're gonna water your plant, and then in a shorter period of time compared to the plastic pot, your soil is going to dry up, which is going to be beneficial for those plants that like that type of action. And then that brings us to what type of a plant would like to be in a plastic pot and it's going to be the opposite side of the spectrum in this pot you're gonna to want to put plants that actually don't like to necessarily dry out completely they don't like for the soil to be bone dry in between waterings these are the plants that like the moisture they don't like to sit in like soggy water but they don't want to dry out completely now with that being said that doesn't mean that there are some plants that exclusively belong to one type of pot or the other but that will mean that if you put a plant that like would generally do better in a plastic pot in a clay pot then you're gonna have to accommodate and that may mean that you may have to end up watering the plant in the clay pot a little bit more often or the plant in the plastic pot a little less often. All in all, it really depends on your plant's water needs. So with that being said, I hope that that was helpful for you guys. 
Like I said, there's no correct answer to this question. It's all dependent on what are your plants' needs. And with respect to what I was saying about your individual needs, you also want to consider what type of care can you give the plant. And yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for the video. I hope that that was helpful and beneficial to you guys. Ultimately, remember that the two most important rules, you want to make sure you have drainage holes and you want to make sure that you're considering your needs and your plant's needs. And that is all for the video, guys. I hope that you liked it. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up down below. Also comment if you have any questions that you want to bring up. All right, guys, that was it for the video. It was a cool one. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.